Yo, what's going on everyone? So today I'm gonna to show you this super simple scroll animation effect. So here it is on the first section and then I continue to scroll up and you can see it has like this little overlap effect and then it go again and then you can pretty much run this infinitely and then customize this as well. And we're gonna use HTML, CSS, JavaScript essentially with GSAP for the animation. So again, one more time. And now let's hop into my code editor so I can show you how I built this. So here I am on my code editor. I'm using VS Code. So go ahead and create your own project and then open it up. So here I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new file. We'll just do index.html. And then I'll have a styles.css. And I'll also just have a app.js. And then eventually I'll have images. So I'll just say, I'll create an images folder and then I'll just have it empty for now. And pretty much here, I'll just press the shift one exclamation and press tab. And then here we can change this tab if you want to. So I should be like scroll animation design. And then we can go in here, we can just link the, and I press tab auto completes for me. And I'll just press styles.css. And then the body, we can just be like, yo, just to make sure. So save this. And then Go to extensions if you don't have live server and just type in live and s should uh so s e server right here make sure you have this installed and then we can just go back right click open with live server so here you can see that it automatically opened this for us so here let's just go ahead and add in our html so let's just do inside the body i'll just have a section and then I'll have a, I'm gonna do dot, and I'll just call this the class section, and then I'll do dot again, and then one. And this essentially creates two classes within the uh, autocompleted for me. And then here, I'll just name this container. Oh, I forgot the dot, so make sure you do dot container, press tab. And then here, I'm just gonna do, I'll just call this one a column dash left for this tutorial. And again, this is just like a quick rough draft, but if you end up making this like a full on site, then obviously you can rename your classes to whatever makes sense for you. But here I just have like an H1 with a class of, just put text for now. And I'll just call this what organic fruits. And let me save just to make sure everything's working good. And right, now outside this H1, underneath it, I'll just have a P tag. I'll just do it with the class text as well. I'll say choose from a, I'll include a break point so I can do uh, the next line on an, on itself. I'll say wide, let me close this out. And then I'll say variety of options here. And then I'll just have just a button for design for now. Just say get started here. And then underneath the, here's a column left div. I'm gonna press enter I'm gonna do column dash right. And inside here, I just have like image with the src of dot slash images slash, and this one's gonna be called img-1.jpg. And then I just put food for this. And I put a class equal to image. So right now, if I just save this, technically we have no images, but uh, we'll add those in a second. For now, let's just write the code out first. And pretty much this is the entire section. So this is super basic. So all we can just do is here, just copy this. And I'll just paste it. And then I can just change this one to section two. And then for the inside information, we can keep that for now. Let's just do, make sure this is image two. And then I guess we can change it right now. Let's do, I'll just call this one. Actually, I think I don't, I even put an H1. So I'll delete the H1 and delete the button. All right, that's perfect here. And then here, let's just change the inside of the P tag content. So I didn't, did I not delete the button? Yeah, make sure you delete the button right there. And then inside the P content, let's put with delicious and you nutritious foods that you can easily access. So I'll just save that. And also have prettier installed too. So in case you're like, how's it like auto formatting? And let's see, make sure that's column left right here. And then divs here. And column right. Okay, cool. So underneath this next section, we can technically just copy this this again. So section two, copy that one. Just paste it. Change this to IMG three. And then for the actual content inside, we can just do uh, just do like this, and just put uh, unique flavors and options to choose from. 
And then you can copy that one more time. I already had it copied, so I'm just gonna do it one more time. And then this should just be image four. And then this should just be we even serve ice cream. So make sure also forgot to change the sections too. So this is the fourth section and this is the three. So this is the third section here. And it looks like if I save HTML is, yeah, one, two, three, four, four. Yeah, okay. So that's good there. So what I wanna do now is I have my images already loaded up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag those in really quick. And again, I got these from just like Unsplash or pixel.com or pixel.com. So let me drag these images in really quick. So I'll just do it right here. So I save it and you can see this is what it looks like right now. And right now it looks crazy because uh, I have to set like a max width and height. But this is what we have so far. And then let me scroll back. So now we can just pretty much style this and then add the animations. So let's do this. Let's style this first and then we'll do the uh, JavaScript stuff later. So. First thing, let's just do a quick little reset. Let's put a margin. Wait, hold on. Margin zero. Padding will be zero. Box sizing, I'll just put border box. And just font family. Let's put, uh, what is it? Trebuchet, I don't even know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know how to know, say that. Where the sections, I just say height. Again, this is just like a filler or template design. This isn't uh, something that you'd have to customize the CSS if you wanted to add like additional stuff. But here let's just put position sticky and then let's do, let's just flex these. So display flex, just by content center with line item center. Save this and they pretty much flexed on. But what I'm doing now is, uh, so you can't really see it, but let's do this. So. Let's set the colors of the background. So I put the section of class per, so let's say background. I'll just put what, hashtag zero C zero D zero D. So it's like a darkish black almost. For the two, I just put background to be hashtag nine A D E six E. And I'm just copying pages, so I don't have to type every time. So I'll do that twice. Change that to three. This is gonna be four. This color will just be hashtag F A seven nine six eight. And then this one is just gonna be um, two C B D E four. So here, so I'll save it now. Now probably, let me see if I can see anything. Yeah, I can't see anything yet, but that's okay. So here, let's just do the target the container now. So let me scroll this up really quick. And I'm just gonna pretty much display grid it. So display grid. We'll do the grid template columns, one fr, one fr, and I'll set the height to be like 95 viewport height. And for the padding, this little formula where I do top top bottom is three rem, and then the left right is just a little calculation. So 100 viewport width minus 300 pixels divided by two. And I'll save that now. So let's check it out. So it still looks crazy. So what we could do is actually, uh, let's start the left column first and then the right column after. So let's just do column dash left and let's do display, hold on. Let's display flex, flex direction. Let's do column. Then let's do just like content center line items. We can do flex start and color, we can just put that to be 000, zero, zero with the padding, zero RAM, two RAM. And then I wanna target the column dash left H1. You could put a custom class on it, but since I put text for almost everything, then you'd have to change it up. But let's just do margin dash bottom, which should be one RAM. Font size would be two RAM. And then I want the font style to be italic. I'll save it here. And tell me right now you can't see it. So let me actually do this so you can actually see what's going on. So let's set the uh, at media. So media queries and set the max width. I should do 78 pixels here. And then let me show you the curly braces. Let's say dot container. 
And I'll just say I'll just change the columns to one, so one fr, save it here, and then also I need to shrink this image because it's like it's massive right now. So I just target the image, so dot image, set the width 100%, height, let's do 100%, and then let's set the max width. And this is just for this video, but if, again, if you'd have you have to alter this if you wanted to make like custom images. But I wanted to do just these pixel sizes just so that you can actually see see them. So that's pretty much how it looks now. So we can actually see much better. Then we just got to fix the text. So let's do uh, let's go under the H1, and pretty much I can just do the same thing with the P tag. So column left P tag here, and margin dash bottom will be uh, two rem. Font size will be four rem, and line height will be one point one. Say that here. So you can kind of see it's just still dark. So let's let's draw the button really quick. So I didn't put a class. I just straight up just did button. I can just set the padding be one rem by three rem. Here, hold on. Uh, let's do font size uh, one rem. Border just put none. Let's do background will be hashtag f5 cd03 and color hashtag 0c 0 d0d zero, zero, just the same as the background and cursor put pointer and let's put i want to make it rounded so border radius which is right border radius can't do it hold on just put 50 pixels here now you can see the button and then for the uh the right side, let me just do column really quick. Actually, let's do text. Let's do dot text. We can set the color to white. So now we can see it. And then we can do column. Right, let's just do uh, display flex. And just for content, make sure everything's centered. Line items, center and padding. I just want some spacing on the top and the bottom. Tell me I can just do like that. Yeah, that's fine. So here, so far is what we got. And you notice how there's no animations and nothing looks looks nothing like the actual design. So what we need to do first before we even get started is you need to add the JavaScript file at the bottom on HTML. So right above the body tag, let's do like a script tag with a SRC inside of it, and we'll just say app.js. So save that there. And then what you want to do is you want to go. Let me actually show you where we go. So let's, let me bring this up really quick. So here I am on GSAP. So you can just Google GSAP or go to greensock.com and just let me bring it over. So I just go here to the docs and then you can go down here on this left side and just go to installation. And then let me scroll down. And for HTML CSS, the easiest way to do it is just go see this little section, the install helper, click on CDN. And we're gonna, this is the original one you have to copy in, but we're gonna end up using uh, another one called scroll trigger. So in order to utilize scroll trigger, you just click here and it loads it up there for us. And notice how it's on the bottom. So let me just go ahead and just copy this. So just copy it here. And then let's just bring this over. And let me just paste this right above. I'll just save it. And then let's just go to our app.js and this one's let me go here to our scroll and this is pretty pretty super simple actually so let's just do gsap dot red hold on that let's just register the plugin so register plugin and just put scroll trigger and I got this straight up from their docs and their examples so this is one of the basic ones where you can say gsap dot utils and they have this thing called two array. And then we're gonna target the, essentially the element. So this one's the section, except I have a class section here. So I'm gonna put in that class section. And then we're gonna do dot for each. We're gonna look in, and I'm gonna pass in section as the value. And I'll have an arrow function here. And then pretty much now I'll just do the scroll trigger. So you do scroll trigger dot create and then you do parentheses curly brace and press enter and then here's where you pass in all your properties so i'll say the trigger will be the value we put which is section you can have a start we'll just do top top and then here's the pin i want pin to be true and then i want pin spacing to be false 
So I save this now and let's see what's happening. So right now, let me refresh this, make sure. And I think it's because the way I put this. So make sure if you copy it, let's copy the scroll trigger script tag. Let's put it above the app that, oh, or the G's app and let's see if that fixes it. So let's go back here. I think that should fix it. So let me make sure. So it looks like it's still not doing it. So let me see, make sure I didn't. Let's do console. So it's saying scroll trigger is not defined. So let's see, did I misspell? We have gsap.register plugin scroll. Ah, okay. So now let's try it. Refresh again. Did I misspell it again? Hold on. <laughs> Gsop that register. Oh, there we go. So that should be P. I can't spell today. So let's see here. So let me refresh, and you can see that is working. And let me just make sure that the script thing didn't make. Because last time I had it, it was having issues. But let me just make sure. See if that matters or not this time. So yeah, it looks like you're fine. So you don't have. Doesn't matter the order for this. But sometimes it just to check in case because I had an issue earlier. But it looks like it's working either way. So that's good to see that. So now if we just refresh again, we we'll just scroll. And now we have a little effect. So if you want to learn more about this, you can check out their docs and then just see whatever you want to look into. For instance, like if I go GSAP, you can see you have all these effects and then you can go in here and just check out everything else. But this pretty much is the little scroll effect that we created for today. So if you enjoyed this, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, if you're new to the channel, comment down below any other videos you want me to make or any cool animations you can create with GSAB, I'll definitely check it out. Aside from that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.